Hello class, this is Demetrius Wilson. This is Business One. We are now on Chapter 13, Marketing, Helping Buyers Buy. Uh, sporting my uh, pre-haircut uh, do with the blowout, so it's looking a little different today. Uh, but our learning objectives are uh, define marketing and apply the marketing concept to both for-profit and non-profit organizations. Uh, describe the four P's of marketing. Uh, summarize uh, the marketing research process. Show how marketers use environmental scanning to learn about the changing marketing environment. Uh, explain how, marketer, how marketers uh, apply the tools of market segmentation, relationship marketing, and the study of consumer behavior. And compare the business-to-business -business market and the consumer market. Uh, marketing is very, very interesting. That was my uh, undergraduate degree was in business marketing. Great field, uh, you know, changes and has a lot to do with uh, how we do things here uh, in America and throughout the world. Uh, be sure to read the story about uh, Damon John, uh, obviously the, the creator and founder of FUBU. Uh, see him all over. I actually have a video. The first video in the Chapter 13 module is uh, one of his videos. Uh, so be sure to pay pay good attention to that uh, because he's got a lot, lot of great things to say. Uh, he was he wasn't he's not a, or not or he wasn't on the the Shark Tank for no reason because I don't think he's uh He's been on there lately or isn't on there anymore. Uh, so what is marketing? Marketing is activity or set of instructions and processes for creating, communicating, delivering, exchanging, offering uh, that have customers, clients, partners, and society at large, right? So marketing basically helps the buyers buy. Uh, for instance, uh, when you want to go buy a car, uh, what do you do? You don't just go straight down to Cerrito Sado Square. You look on the internet, you look at cars.com, you look at CarMax, all kind of different things. So by the time you go down there, you've seen all these different marketing tools, maybe a commercial, and you said, okay, I, I kind of know what I want. I know the price range. Now I'm going to go down to the, to the auto dealership. Uh, talk about the evolution of marketing uh, the, down here. Uh, marketing, the evolution of marketing in the United States involved four eras, production, selling, marketing concept, and customer uh, relationship, which is where we currently are. Uh, today, a new era is emerging, uh, mobile slash on-demand marketing, and I'll explain that. Uh, so production, uh, obviously, you know, you produce, it's there, you see it, you buy it. Sales, uh, the, the attaching marketing with the sales process, marketing concept, which we'll go over as well. Then the customer relationship, that means that I'm going to get it to exactly what you want. Uh, and we'll talk about customer relationship management uh, as well. And like they said, now we're on to the mobile on demand because we want everything right now. Uh, if I wanted, uh, you know, um, uh, like some compression socks, I was looking for some compression socks. First thing I'm going to do is look online, see if I could buy some straight from uh, the company that makes them as opposed to me uh, just going to Sports Authority and buying uh, that, that particular brand. Uh, the marketing concept, as we just discussed, a uh, three-part business philosophy, uh, customer orientation, service orientation, and profit orientation, right? So you have your customers, uh, you have the service that you provide, and, you know, ideally you're, you're out there to make a profit. You are a, a business. Uh, so customer orientation, find out what the customers want and provide it for them. Simple as that. Uh, but if it was simple as that, everybody would do it. Uh, number two, service orientation. Make sure everyone in the organization has the same objective. If some people don't have the same objective that you do, then you're going to have a problem. Uh, profit orientation is focused on those goods and services that will earn the most profit and enable the organization to survive, right? So you don't want to focus on the products that are uh, underperforming. Uh, you might want to uh, think about scrapping those and just focus on the ones uh, that are bringing you profit. Uh, customer relationship management, or CRM, is a process of learning as much about the possible about the present customers and doing everything you can over time to satisfy them. So I'm going to figure out what all your needs are. Uh, not that I'm going to read your mind, you know, through research uh, surveys and things that I send you, and then I'm going to provide that to you because I know that you will you will buy it. Uh, so digital technology continues to grow. Consumer demands are likely to rise in four specific areas. Uh, number one is now. Uh, consumers want to interact anywhere, anytime. I, you know, so here's something I want. I'm going straight to my phone and I'm looking for it right then and there. I'm not going to wait till to go to the actual brick and mortar place. Uh, can I? They want to do new things with different kinds of information in ways that create value for them. For example, a couple wanting to know if they can afford to buy a house, uh, they walk uh, <clears throat> by could simply snap a photo and instantly see the sale price and the other property information, right? So it's just just as quick as that. Uh, even if it's not a physical flyer out there, you can easily figure out uh, how much the, the, the house is going to cost and, you know, if you're within that range. 
uh, for me. Uh, consumers expect all data stored about them to be used to personalize what uh, you know their their experience. And simple consumers expect all interactions to be easy, and they're definitely not. Currently, uh, reading a book uh, with the team that I, I work with at work. Uh, it's called the Effortless Experience, and uh, it talks about what what consumers truly want as opposed to what we as a company think that they want. Uh, the marketing mix, and you'll hear about this all you know for forever. Uh, those are the four P's, uh, product, price, uh, place, and promotion. And uh, look at a couple of diagrams that are coming up that uh, show you some great things about the four P's. Uh, so marketing managers and the marketing mix. So marketing managers must choose how to implement the four P's. Uh, the marketing mix, product, price, place, and promotion. The goal are to please customers and make a profit, right? As you can see, here's the product. Here's how much we're going to charge for it. Where are we going to sell it at? We're going to sell it at the boutique. And what's our promotion? Well, we're going to have it at trade shows and things of that nature, right? So you have to know how, kind of how the f flow goes along. And this is a perfect example of how it actually does go along. So product is any physical good, uh, service, or idea that satisfies a want or need. So you find the opportunities. What's the opportunity? Here's here's the thing. I told people were talking about, oh, I want to do this. I want to get rich. This, that. If you can figure out how to solve somebody's problem, then you will be successful in terms of selling your product. So you find the opportunity. You conduct the research. You identify a target market. And then product is right here. Design a product to meet uh, the need based on the research. Uh, do a product testing. Price. Determine a brand name. Design a package and set a price. Place. Select a distribution system <clears throat> and promotion, design a promotional program, and then build a relationship with the customer. Follow those uh, those steps, and you're great. But obviously, like I said, easier said than done. Uh, test marketing is a process of testing products among potential users, and a brand name is a word, letter, or a group of words or letters that differentiate one seller's uh, goods and services from uh, those uh, of their competitors. Right. So something, some type of signal or, or symbol or something that you know that that, hey, hey, this is this is theirs. Uh, we can't infringe upon theirs. Um, uh, so selling at the appropriate price uh, and then, you know, pr promotion. So you see that sandwich right there probably doesn't look appealing to you, but it looks very appealing to me because I'm kind of on the kick where I'm not really eating any meat right now. Uh, so I'm looking for places uh, or whenever I go to eat, I'm looking for oh, where's the vegetarian, where's the gluten free. Uh, you know, menu for here. A uh, vegetarian restaurant might fill a popular need in the neighborhood of many college campuses today. Is there one near your school? What can you tell about its manager's application of the four P's, right? Uh, so, you know, these days people are more health conscious. Uh, I am now than used to be. I know when I was a kid, if they taught it in school, I don't remember it. Uh, I don't remember talking, you know, speaking too much about nutrition. Uh, but if I knew what I do now, then, then, then maybe things would have been different. No joke. I would eat uh, like crumb donuts, uh, powder donuts, and, and like a cherry pie for lunch. And then I would go to practice for four hours, and I would wonder, you know, why am I a little tired? Uh, well, I'm probably tired because I didn't eat a real lunch. I just had, you know, three uh, snacks. But nobody's around. Nobody was watching me. So those are decisions that I made. You know, story for another day. Uh, so promotion, all the techniques sellers use to inform people about and uh, motivate them to buy their products and services just like somebody promotes for a club I want you to come in I want you to buy my products and services I want you to come to my establishment I know we passed it but the test prep was on the uh, prior page make sure you review that <clears throat> marketing research is analysis of markets to determine opportunities and challenges and to find the information needed to make good decisions what information do I need to make a good decision so for instance I bought a, um, a max trainer it's from Bowflex great product I like it now, did all my research, saw everything was good. I was ready to make my purchase, but I said, I want to test it out. There was nowhere for me to test the machine out. So, you know, took a leap of faith, got it. I do like it. And uh, so it, it worked out well. But, uh, you know, I had a few people, probably like five people that I talked to about it that want to purchase one. I said, well, why don't you just try mine out? Uh, I know that was my only drawback was the fact that I didn't have anywhere to go try it out. Now, I do want an endless pool. And what endless pool does, they say, OK, where do you live? And they find somebody close to your neighborhood and they say, this person has an endless pool. Can you can go to their house and test it out, which is which is kind of cool. But I'm sure that they, you know, give those people a discount on, on their payment uh, if somebody comes by and test test out their actual pool. Uh, secondary data so this is not data that you collected, uh, but it's data that, you know, is at your fingertips. So information that has already been compiled by others and published in journals and books or made available online. 
So this is a marketing research process. So uh, defining the question, the problem or opportunity, and determining the present situation. So what's the opportunity and where are we currently at? Uh, collecting research data. So first we have to get our data. Analyze the research data. Uh, hopefully uh, nothing skewed. Uh, like uh, I, I go to the In-N-Out parking lot and ask them, uh, what's your favorite hamburger? Well, more than likely their favorite hamburger is going to be In-N-Out. Same thing if I went to, you know, another uh, burger place, went to Five Guys, I went to their parking lot, and I said, what's your favorite burger? Most of them would say, you know, Five Guys. Uh, and then <clears throat> after you analyze the research data, you want to choose the best solution and implement it, right? So figure out what the best solution is, then you implement it, and then you are good to go. Uh, so select a source of primary and secondary information. Once you review that, it uh, just gives you a little better understanding of what primary is. So these are things that you can do. Interview, survey, observation, focus group, online surveys, questionnaire, customer comments, letter from customers. See all things that are prompted by you. These secondary sources are things that are already out there, uh, but also at your fingertips. Uh, so primary data is data that you gather yourself, not from secondary sources, magazines, which we already went over. Uh, then you can have a focus group. You say, okay, I, I want to take seven people and then ask them some questions. So this is a small group of people who meet under the direction uh, or discussion of a discussion leader uh, to communicate their opinions about an organization, its products, uh, or given other given issues, right? Uh, great thing to have a, have a focus group. I remember my marketing pro project in, uh, in school and undergraduate and a teacher. I think it was Mr. Baba Huja, great teacher, uh, had a good time. Uh, learning things and putting them all together uh, for the marketing function and kind of didn't realize that we were actually learning all those things. Uh, environmental scanning is the process of identifying uh, the factors that can affect uh, marketing success. So what can you know affect our marketing success? Uh, you know, you just have to uh, think about it. Think broad scope and figure out, okay, what things could happen. So it's this thing called pre-mortem uh, process. So as opposed to post-mortem where your process you go through the process, you see these things were wrong, then you go to fix them. If you do a pre-mortem, think of all the things that can go bad, write them down, then work to solve those as you come in with your solution, and then uh, things will be much better. So it's, uh, pre if you do things in a pre-mortem uh, manner. Uh, this is the marketing environment. Competitive, uh, you have speed, service, price selection, economic, gross domestic product, uh, disposable income, competition, unemployment, Global, you got trade agreements, right? You got embargoes, things of that nature, technological communicate, com communications, uh, computers, telecommunications, and uh, socio cultural uh, <clears throat> population shifts, values, uh, attitudes, and trends. Uh, <clears throat> so that, that kind of expands out a little bit more on uh, your, uh, your four P's or product place, uh, price, and promotion. <clears throat> so be sure to you know go over global factors, technological factors, and social cultural factors. Uh, also read uh, Reaching Beyond Our Borders. Uh, good additional insight there as well. All right. So you have two different types of market. Uh, you have your consumer market, and then you have your B two B, which is like your business to business market. Not like it is. Uh, all the individuals and the households that want goods and services for personal consumption. Or use right those are consumers I'm a consumer you're a consumer uh, business to business market is all the individuals and organizations uh, that want goods and services to use and pro and producing other goods and services or to sell uh, rent or supply goods to others right uh, so business to business they're saying hey you know what we're a business we have wood right we are, we're lumberjacks you're a business you you make skateboards you need wood so we're going to sell you uh, this wood. That's a business to business uh, uh, shift. It's not uh, uh, business to consumer, which is what all of us have an interaction with. Uh, be sure to go over your test prep again uh, for your test. It's coming up, uh, for, but not your test for uh, chapter 13. So uh, your test will be for chapters 9, 10, 11, 12. Those are those four chapters. And then the next test will be on 13, 14, 15. Uh, market segmentation is the process of dividing the total market into groups whose uh, members have similar uh, characteristics. Then when you do that and you segment them, then you have your target marketing. Uh, so marketing uh, directed toward these uh, group, uh, groups uh, or the market segments that we just talked about above. Uh, an organization decides it can uh, serve profitably. Right. So we, we, we believe that we can serve these different areas uh, profitably, but we have to test that out. Uh, so you see down here uh, about segmentation. There are different ways to segment. 
we could segment uh, uh, in terms of the map, geographic segmentation. So region, northwest, mid, uh, northeast, midwest, south, and west. Uh, demographic, it could be the gender, it could be the age, could be the educa education, could be race, all kind of different things uh, that you want to look at there. And then uh, psychographic segmentation, so personality values, lifestyle, when you take the, those tests, Myers-Briggs tests, Wonderlick tests, then you're going to see where they, they stand there. And then uh, benefit segmentation, so comfort, convenience, durability, uh, economy, right, is this going to throw a big monkey wrench in, you know, uh, your commute here, your commute there, you have to think about those, you know, those pitfalls as well. Uh, so big uh, benefit uh, segmentation divides an already established market into smaller ones, uh, more homogeneous segments. Uh, those people who desire economy in a car uh, would be an example, right? So all of those people would be transferred over to that economy car uh, bucket. <clears throat> and then volume segmentation, so usage and loyalty status, uh, heavy users, light users, non-users, uh, you have uh, none medium and strong on those as well <clears throat> and I'm just gonna go through all these because these are the ones we just discussed uh, niche marketing right so then now you found your niche I found these people who want cashmere sweaters and canary yellow right uh, the process of finding small but profitable market segments and designing or finding products uh, for them right so you just never know uh, who you're talking to, who you do your elevator pitch for, uh, that uh, they could actually assist you in in creating some type of uh, backing for for a niche market. <clears throat> uh, one to more, one to one marketing. That's you know like somebody comes door to door, they sit down with you. And we're talking about insurance, uh, you know, iris things of that nature. So developing a unique mix of goods and services for each individual customer, and that's very time consuming, and it may affect your bottom line. Uh, but if you, uh, if that's absolutely necessary, right? Or if it's part of your organizational culture, then you should move in that, that direction. Uh, mass marketing is uh, developing products and promotions to please large groups of people, right? So the masses, that's who we're, who we're marketing things towards. Uh, relationship marketing, uh, like it says, relationship, it gets kind of, you know, a little bit closer. So marketing strategy with the goal of keeping individual customers over time by offering them products that are exactly uh, what meets their requirements. So just like that book that I was talking about, uh, we're looking to exactly meet that person's uh, requirement as opposed to wow them uh, every single uh, time that they, they contact us, but we don't come up with the resolution. <clears throat> Uh, turning negatives into positives, uh, you know, I am be sure to read that one for sure. Uh, great, great insight uh, in these uh, these different segments of the book. Uh, business to business market, uh, we're talking about the differences there. So you guys want to read through the differences there uh, as long as, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, read through those uh, six differences. Uh, so comparing business to business and consumer uh, buying behavior, right? So this left side is business to business and the right side is consumer market. So market structure, relatively few potential customers, many potential customers in the consumer market. Uh, so you see the differences between the two products uh, require technical complex products, require less technical products uh, for the consumer. Uh, buying procedures so negotiate details in most purchases, accept standard terms for most purchases. So you see the difference between the two, uh, <clears throat> but uh, you know they're still markets. They're still the same. So business to business market is, hey, I make trees, I'm, I have my business, and I sell the wood to a skateboarding company. Uh, consumer market is just going to be us, uh, you know, uh, the people who want to buy things, especially uh, with uh, they have Thanksgiving come up uh, coming up. This definitely we are the people who want to buy things. Uh, you have more test press prep information there. Uh, be sure to prep for your tests. Uh, but your upcoming tests uh, for this week is going to be on chapters 9, 10, 11, and 12. Uh, the, last, uh, the prior four uh, chapters, then your chapter uh, 13, 14, 15, 16 will be your final test. Uh, so we're now down here to the summary. Be sure to go over that. A wealth of information in the summary and uh, the, even the exercises help as well. Uh, <clears throat> so you have described the four P's of marketing, summarize the marketing research process, all, all of that, those, those things are great in the summary section. Uh, you go through that, I can guarantee you uh, that it'll enhance your knowledge relative to what you need to do on the test. Uh, so back at the summary, uh, there you go. Uh, that's it for chapter 13. Uh, hopefully you have a good day and a great week. Uh, be sure to do your homework, take your quiz, take your test. 
and uh, and you'll be good to go. We're winding down today, and as always, uh, have a good day and a great week.